If you look at the world we live in right now, everything is always obvious in hindsight. The leverage you have is to see it in the here and now and be able to take action on it. What I believe we have happening in the long, long term is we have a complete disruption of how we work. If you look at the last evolution of business, so you had the industrial revolution and the internet revolution, you know who was safe in the internet revolution, Karen? Accountants. Lawyers, <laughs> people whose work was very non technical, right? And very regulatory heavy. It was like really hard to do like all this compliance work where there's a lot of nuances and like it was much harder to make, you know, software to solve all those niche problems, right? Well, what do we have coming now, Karen? We got the chain, we got the blockchain, baby. The blockchain is going to completely disrupt accounting and law because we have made taxes, legal issues programmable for the first time, right? And so, what I will tell you is we we are going through the biggest transformation as a society in terms of how work is going to get done than we have in the last 50 to 100 years. Because I think every profession is going to change. We are talking about artificial intelligence today and its impact on marketing. That's one of the ways I think marketing is going to change. But I think if you look at the technology evolution we're about to go through, I don't see a core profession, a core vocation that is not going to ch be changed dramatically by the role of technology over the next decade. Agree or disagree? I think there are roles that will not be touched by technology and that's what I think is fascinating because they are the roles that maybe have been left behind by the evolution of the internet. So technology cannot replace the fact that you need a plumber to come over to your house and do skilled work. Technology cannot replace the mm -hmm. fact that you want to go to a yoga class and you have a yoga teacher who's very qualified to do that work. Technology cannot replace people in the physical world that actually have real skills. But that's it. If you work in front of a computer though, I'm talking about professional service, professional jobs. I'm talking about, you know, very much white collar, jobs in this world are going to change dramatically and it's going to make those in-person experiences more scarce. You did a good job of saying like, hey, if it's not in front of a computer, technologies can facilitate that but can't replace it.